What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We just sold out 2022 Fanatics Under Wraps 2.0 Autograph Baseballs. Three box break. Nine random players, each number six. And you get one autograph baseball per box. Plus, of course, please note that any and all multi signed baseballs will go to the multi signed baseball spot. So there you go. And then, of course, all the names there. So there's 171. Uh, uh, spots in the checklist, 19 spots that we sold, so we're gonna times your names by nine. All right, so here's the dice roller. So these customers here, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. Dice roll. Two to do four times. Let's see if that makes 171. There you go. So two times, two to two four times. Two, three, four. King scored again. Nice. Nice. All right, no problem, Steve. <laughs> four times. Nicholas at the top. Down to Nicholas at the bottom. All right, now four times here. One, two, three, four. Lucas Giolito, down to Kyle Lewis spot there. Now, um, I'm not gonna show you guys all your teams right now the way they are, uh, players, the way they are right now. I'm just gonna quickly scroll through just so you guys can see that. And then we'll alphabetize it by customer name really quick, and then you guys can see your t uh, players. So if you have one spot, you'll have nine players. If you have two spots, you'll have 18, three spots, etc. Increments of nine. And I won't name them off. You guys could just read it. So Brian Croft, we got the last four. Oh! What did I say? Stolen base, didn't I? Winning run. In scoring position now. So Brian Croft, you have Evan Longoria. All those players in there. All the way down to Roger Clemens. Derek. Shane Biebs down to Dwight Gooden. Eric. Tony Perez down to Xander Bogarts. Jeremy Port, you have Eduardo Rodriguez. Let me show you guys all these here first. All right, to Jorge Soler, right there. And you have the any and all multi sign baseballs, which is good. And then you also have all the way to down here. Robin Yao down to Fernando Valenzuela. Damn. Going to the 14th. Nathan, Walker Bueller down to Joe Carter. Nicholas. Lucas Giolito down to Kyle Lewis. And there you have Aaron Judge as well. Tony Barkey, he had four uh, player, uh, four spots. So, Glaber Torres down to Red Showing East. Showing Diced. Little Trout in there, Bo Jackson. And then, of course, from Verdugo down to Yogi Bear. And then Tyler, you got the last 18 here. Nolan Arenado down to Gary Sheffield.
Uh, you have to give more credit to the pitchers, right? All right, guys. Well, there you go. Um, I'm not gonna. We're not gonna do any trades. I, I really doubt it. We never really do. So I'm gonna advertise it back to the players there, and uh, we'll play a little Who Am I as well. And uh, hopefully, like I said, you guys get a baseball. And here we go, guys. Let's do this. So these are the last three that we had here in the in our little little cabinet here. So we'll go with these three. So if we do have more, which I'm sure we do, seven will be from a fresh fresh case. And yeah, I believe we get 18 in a case, so that makes sense. All right, let's take a look and see who this is first. And I'll see if we can do a little more mine. All right. Uh, who am I, guys? I'm a uh, currently active. I'm a catcher in the MLB. I was the first overall selection in the 2019 MLB draft. Signed for $8.1 million. At the time, was the highest signing uh, bonus ever in the MLB. I'm currently 24 years old. Born in Oregon. Went to school at Oregon State. And so far through my 2022 season, I have a 2.54 batting average, 13 home runs, 42 bat, uh, runs batted in. Yeah, we can say, who are we? Not Perez. Currently active, I'm only 24 years old. So I'm a little bit of a youngster, actually. Remember, he did win a national championship in college at Oregon State. Had 17 hits, a college series world record, 13 RBIs in the series, which he was named College World Series Most Outstanding Player. Yes, Ian and Sport. Adley Rutschman. I actually messed this ball up. This ball's supposed to be this way. That it's supposed to be down. So there you go, a little Adley Rutschman. And then you put it in here like this. Come on, fanatic! Do I gotta do the work for you. Come on now. All right. So who has Adley? Jeremy Port. You go Sport Port. All right, next one. A gold baseball. We haven't had one of those in a while. I don't think I've ever at all. I've hit one of these. What's the name on here? All right, we pulled the. We've actually pulled this guy before a couple times, but it's actually gonna be one of those gold baseballs, black and gold baseballs. But let's see. Let's see if you guys can get it again. I feel like he was kind of a harder one, but we have pulled this guy before actually. And I'm a currently retired baseballer who played 19 seasons in the MLB. I played for three teams my entire career, made my debut, uh, and placed second overall in the AL uh, Rookie of the Year voting behind Ichiro. I did win the Cy Young Award in tw uh, 2007, and uh, I'm a six-time All-Star, World Series champ in 2009. And won the ALCS MVP in 2009. I also led the league in wins in 2009 and 2010. I won my World Series with the Yankees. Started my career with the Cleveland Indians.
Yes, Maddie. You are correct. So yeah, we've got this guy like three times already, actually. But this time, though, it's one of these uh, black and gold baseballs, which is actually pretty cool. There you go. So CC Sabathia. Who has CC? Tony Barkey does. Last one here, guys. Bottom of the 14th now. Alrighty. I am a retired baseball player who, uh, played in the 50s, 60s, and 70s. Uh, played for five different teams from 1956 to 1976. The only player to be named Most Valuable Player MVP of both the NL and the AL, which is also pretty good, right? First time to be MVP on both sides. And then um, was named NL MVP after leading the Cincinnati Reds to the pennant in 1961. And was named AL MVP in 1966 while leading the Baltimore Orioles, winning the Triple Crown. Alright. Got that. 49 home runs that year tied the most by any AL player between 1962 to 1989. And stood as a franchise record for 30 years. Yeah, not Koufax, bro. <laughs> she said play for five different teams. I should have gave it away already. But yes, actually, Tyler, you are correct. Uh, unfortunately, passed away a few years back in L.A. here. So he's not with us anymore. Died February 7, 2019. But uh, was 83 years old, which, you know, a little more than the average, which is still nice, right? But yeah, had a career batting average of 294, had 2,900 hits, 586 home runs, 1,800 RBIs. And then he also managed in the MLB, too. Had about like a little under 50 or 500 winning percentage as a manager. But a 14-time All-Star, two-time World Series champs. Uh, and then, like I said, NL MVP, AL MVP, World Series MVP, Triple Crown, NL Rookie of the Year. And, of course, inducted into the Hall of Fame, first ballot in 1982. And, yeah, there you go, Frank Robinson. And then, of course, has MVP inscribed 66. So again, it's just it's just pretty cool actually because you know, like I said, he's not with us anymore. So, you know, and it looks I don't think it's like game used, but it looks a little dirty there. But there you go. And it also comes with a Beckett COA as well with the Fanatic COA. Right, who has Frank? Frank Robinson. Tyler actually has Frank Robinson. There you go. So there you go, Tyler. And there you go, folks. That was the break. That was just a little quick three-box break of those Fanatic Baseballs. If Nick hasn't put one up already, 
I will post up number seven. That should be from a fresh master case. I think there's 18 in every case, so have the opportunity, of course, to pull some bigger baseballs. Maybe multi-signed, maybe inscribed. But I uh, appreciate it, guys. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.